right. Here we are. First problem, algebra two. Uh, less than one dash four. One dash four. And they give us a sequence of numbers, starting with five, then 12. I think looking right away, you can see that each time it's adding seven. When you add a constant number to get from one number to the next, that's called an uh, arithmetic. It looks like arithmetic, but in sequences, they read that as arithmetic. Um, so arithmetic sequence. And then this explicit formula means, how do you actually calculate one of the numbers? So to calculate, the number here, the five is the first number in the sequence, the 12 is the second, the 19, the third, the 26, the fourth. So usually they say use an N, call this number in the sequence N. Like if I wanna calculate the first number in the sequence and get a five, well, first of all, when you add every time, if you think about this, Remember when you're graphing a line, that number that you add every time. So every time I go over one, if I went up seven, <clears throat> that would be like a linear equation. So it's gonna be the form of a linear equation when you have a constant amount that you're adding every time. And so if you remember the number you add every time or the amount it grows by every time, like the seven in the case I drew over here, that's like your um, slope. So the seven, is, and then I can't take it just times n or this five, if I put a one in there, I'd get seven. So the way this goes is if you back up one, so if you think about this, if you back up to the zero term, so if I went back to the zero term, if I'm adding seven every time going this way, I would be subtracting seven to go back here. So my first term here, my first term here is five minus seven would be like a negative two. So one way to do this would be like saying um, seven n, like if my n is my zero here, and then minus two. So if I did seven times one, that'd be seven minus two is five. And if I went to the next one and checked it, so when n is two, seven times two is 14, minus two, that would be the 12. So that's one way to do it. Back up. Here's the uh, another way that um, I like to do it that I learned someplace along the line. You can see if you like it as well. And so in this method, you, if the uh, five here is my first term, I back up the one, the first term. I'm still multiplying by seven every time, just like my slope triangle. And then um, I, and then I have to put the, let's see, put the one in here. I think you still have to do like the one was the five. So a plus five out here, I believe. Let's check this. So if I put in a one, one minus one is zero times seven would be zero still plus five would be the five. So if I, if let's say they gave me the second one in this case. So let's say in this case, it started with the two 12. So we would go seven n minus two and then plus the 12. And so when we do the n minus two, that's like saying we're gonna get rid of that seven and all. And then just, so you could, you could try that method as well. One more time, let's clear this off. For that method, it goes again like this. I really do think this is a faster way to do it. So. First, identify the amount you're adding every time. That's your multiplier here times your, like your slope. And then this is the first number in the sequence, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So it's n 
minus pick any one in the list you want to actually start with I'll, i usually just start with the first one so n minus one and then the plus five goes out here so let's go ahead and test it here with the five so five minus one is four times the seven out here 28 and then the order of operations the plus five would be last 33 and that checks so hopefully that works okay for you um, we gotta put our formula in here in a simplified form though so back over here this would be distributing 7n minus 7 7 times this and 7 times that one and then plus 5 combine these two like terms so 7n minus 2 is what I'm typing in here for my answer. The way I know to use an n in this problem when I'm typing it in is the fact that there's this little subscript n right here. So let's see how we did. What just happened there? Get rid of that. Check it and we got it. Uh, oh, this is a part two. <clears throat> Simplify your answer. Oh, write it in a recursive form. Okay, so the recursive form, what that is, is you're kind of telling the uh, the person looking at it, how do I get from one number to the next? And so what goes in here is I take the number previous, the a sub n minus one. So if I'm at the 12, I take the one before it, the five, and what do I do? Add seven. So in here, be my a subscript n minus one arrow to the right to get out of that, and I add seven. So how do I get from one to the next? I take the one before it and add seven. And then what's the first number in the list? That's always just what's given there. So in this case, it was a five. All right, hopefully that makes sense. And if not, go back and watch it. You've always got try a similar problem. You've got up here in the top right, there's the, um, the help where you can get an extra help. Down here on the bottom, view an example or help me solve this. Get more help. So there you go.